All right, week 11, week 25 of the year. Just a couple weeks out from Oklahoma's Strongest Man, started the week off with some dead bench uh, using the axle. Again, just trying to get used to the feeling in my arms. Everything's moving pretty decent on Monday. So did some dead bench followed by some strict press. Everything's moving well, feels well. <clears throat> Honestly, I've been kind of under the weather the past week. I think it's just allergies in the area. But uh, getting getting some good breaths has been definitely a labor of love. Then I uh, finished up with this accessory. So this is a kettlebell bottom-up press. And I recently got those change plates for the kettlebells and dumbbells from Rogue. I actually got them for my wife, but I keep on finding myself using them. What do you guys think? Worth the money? Switch to Tuesday, squat day. So this is 385. I did this for sets across. Really trying to concentrate on a nice slow descent. Everything's been improving pretty well with squat. Still get a little bit inconsistent through the rest of the sets, but again, I'm really nitpicking myself on those. Uh, form issues that I have. Then it was a single arm row and so we decided to use the circus dumbbell, my old one. Weighs 70 pounds empty and I believe that there are tens or two fives inside of each bell. So we're up to 90 pounds. I'm excited to get the new bell out and use it probably next week. I just got a new uh, circus dumbbell from Texas Power Concepts. And switch to these awesome things. So I use my kid's pull-up bar for split squats, for Bulgarian split squats. It's a lot better than using the box that I used to use because the pull-up bar doesn't actually move. But like usual, nothing too heavy on split squats. Just trying to keep my balance, maintain good form. And these are getting, these are also just getting way better. Uh, just with time and more repetitions. I do have the band pegs thrown in there as handles just in case I start to lose my balance. All right, so day three. Uh, it was supposed to be like push presses, EMOM or something like that, but I had the opportunity uh, with the in-laws in town. I was able to unguiltily go to my coach's place and we decided that we were just going to break down my axle clean and press. So I'm working on that little hop that you see there during the clean. Uh, it's been helping me pull the weight further up on my chest on the actual clean which has made the clean easier. Uh, when you make the clean easier you expend less energy. Next thing you know uh, you're pushing up more weight than before. Did a ton of repetitions coming up uh, eventually stepping up to this 230. I believe this is my fail here. Yep. So I failed 230, which would have been a PR, uh, but really not that big of a deal. So moved on to these Swiss bar seated Z presses. I guess all Z presses are se seated. This is my coach giving me a cue. I think he wanted the bar tilted more back. And then it's Thursday, deadlift day. So here's, I want to say that was 475, and then drop sets. I'm going to be honest, I tried to pull 510, which would have been a all-time PR, and this is on an axle. I ended up breaking the floor, but just barely uh, missing the lift, though. And then front squats have been shooting up like crazy, too. So this is front squat EMOM with... What is that? 285. These are feeling pretty good. Uh, get some elbow drop on the heavier sets in the in the hole, but just concentrating on driving straight up. Keep my elbows up is my cue. And then kind of finished up with these SSB good mornings, which is funny to do good mornings when it's not, uh, like 10 o'clock at night. Or 9.30, I think the clock says. <laughs> I 
I feel like I need to concentrate more on uh, bending at the hip on those. So move on to Strongman Saturday, and this is the only footage I'm showing from actual clean and press from that. This is the 230 pounds that I had missed earlier in the week. Easy nail. So that's a PR, and it was easy. So I kept it there, stopped going up at that point, and switched over to yoke. Uh, programming called for two runs. And so I just, like, I, I enjoy yoke, as weird as that sounds. So this is competition weight. This is 650 pounds. I really just wanted to concentrate on trying to get my time down. Uh, and this is where I keep on burning most of my time. I'd be running sub-20s most likely if I was able to clean up that turn, but instead I'm running at about 23 seconds. And then throws. Source of contention for myself. Alright, so like, looks good. Throwing over 12. Uh, I had trained for 40 pounds for a while, not realizing that the competition weight had changed. I think I've mentioned it before. Uh, so I'm not going to say I was detrained, but I was training at 50 before. Then I found out it was supposed to be 40, so I switched to 40, and I don't really check Facebook ever. There you go. And then I, I got on because it said there was an update to the competition page. And I uh, found out that I'd been trading 10 pounds light. So now I'm kind of playing catch up. But these are all looking pretty good. It's one of my deadlift jack stands that I just use my wrist straps to put a, a tape onto. But anyways, ended up finishing up with these. So this is a single-handed I-beam uh, thumbless deadlift. And I think these were like right at 200 some pounds. These are harder than they look. I thought that they'd be a lot easier, but they're pretty tough. I actually don't know the weight off the top of my head. I think it's like 90... Yeah, I, I don't know. It's heavy. It definitely felt heavy. And then finished up with some trolley arm stuff because I have trolley arms and why not? So if, you, if you've if you never used trolley arms before, uh, those are, I think, 25 plus 35s. Or maybe 45 plus 25, or whatever. It's like 55 pounds on the sleeve. And it's harder than you might think. But anyways, I appreciate you guys tuning in for this week. I'll look forward to seeing you next week. Oh.